Okay, here's the first Pythagoras question from the quiz, uh, worked out and solved for you. It says, given the right triangle below, determine the distance of line segment AB. Now here, line segment is the side, one side length, of a right angle triangle. Then they tell us to round our answer to the, to the nearest tenth. So given two side lengths of a right triangle, as I am here, I can find the third side length using Pythagoras. Now Pythagoras says that in a right triangle, if you know two side lengths, you can find the third by using one of these three formulas. Now the important part here is labeling the triangle properly. In a right angle triangle, the longest side, also called the hypotenuse, gets labeled with the letter C. Letters A and B in a right triangle are completely interchangeable. They just represent the two shorter sides in any order, usually. But here, I've got my angles labeled for me. So I'm going to keep it consistent. And across from angle A, I'm going to call this side length lowercase a. And across from angle B, I'm going to call this side length lowercase b. The really important thing is that you put the letter C across from that 90 degree angle. That's always the longest side and called the hypotenuse. So now I've got to figure out which side this question is asking for. It's asking me to solve for side C. If they're asking for side C, I'm going to choose the formula that has the C all by itself on one side of equals. And then like any other formula, I'm just going to fill in what I know. So if C squared equals A squared plus B squared, C is what I'm looking for, so it stays as a variable for now. A gets replaced with the number 28, that was given in the question, plus B squared, B gets replaced with 21, and I have to square that, that value is also given in the question. Now there's two important things on this line here. One, realizing that C isn't actually completely isolated, it's squared, so we're going to have to do something about that at the end. And over on this side, I've got to be really careful of my order of operations. So the first thing I have to do over here is square those two values. So I'm going to do 28 squared. That gives me 784. Plus 21 squared. That gives me 441. Now I have to add those two values together. 784 plus 441 gives me 1,000. 225. Now notice that's not my answer for C, that's an answer for C squared. To get rid of that squared on the C, I take the square root. And whatever I do on one side of an equation, I have to do on the other to keep things even. So I'm going to take the square root of 1,225, and that'll give me an answer for C. 35, and since they didn't give me a unit of measure, I'm just going to say units. Now in a question like this, even though they say round your answer to the nearest tenth, since there's no decimals, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. And that's my final answer.